No pilot in their right mind would leave a jet while flying at 2,400 miles per hour. But in 1966, an SR-71 test pilot had no choice. In fact, he didn't so much leave the plane as the plane left him. You see, while soaring at 78,000 feet, the engine failed, causing the plane to pitch violently upward. He tried to regain control by pushing the control stick as far forward and to the left as it would go, but nothing happened. That's when the pilot blacked out, and the SR-71 began to break apart from the forces of Mach 3 flight. When he came to, he thought he was dead, until he realized he was free-falling through the sub-freezing upper atmosphere. He felt his parachute deploy automatically, but couldn't see anything, so he had no idea how high he was. When he finally pried open his faceplate using his frozen fingers, he saw a barren, snowy desert below him, where he soon made a landing. Then he contacted the test office, where the team learned for the first time that against all odds, he had survived.